What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple actually released a new update, iOS 9.2.1 re-release. It's actually a different build number to fix a famous issue that the internet was up in arms about. So iOS 9.2.1 and previous versions would actually brick any Touch ID compatible device you know, excluding the iPhone 5S, if you replace the screen and didn't keep the original Touch ID home button. So that means third party repairs, you know, it would work. You, they would replace the screen, your device would work fine. Nothing would happen after restarting, nothing like that. But the moment you update to a new firmware or restore your device, you would get that error 53. I've personally experienced it in the past and I read up on it understood what it was about, and it made sense. It was supposedly a security feature. That's what everybody was saying. But now, Apple's went out of their way, made an update to fix this issue. And they're basically saying, we're sorry, this was not meant to happen. It wasn't a security bug, it was not meant to happen, and here's a fix for it. So first off, I just wanna say I'm very surprised Apple didn't release iOS 9.2.2 to fix this. Just a revised version of iOS 9.2.1. So if you actually go in settings, the build number is different. Instead of 13D15, it's now 13d20 now uh, besides this is there anything different in this video i wanted to test does uh, ios 9.2.1 version 2 fix anything else including the 1970 bug uh, let's go ahead and do some little experimenting right here but uh, i just wanted to say thank you apple for doing that that's very considerate of you you know instead of saying hey don't go fix your phone with anyone else just us you guys released a fix for this bug you owned up to it and uh, that's great you know i want to see more of that so uh, thank you so much guys and to be basically get a little bit more in depth about the issue. So the error 53 would be caused when you would restore your device after replacing the screen and not the Touch ID button. The reason people were so upset about it on the internet is basically if this was a security issue indeed, upon restarting the device, the device wouldn't boot. If it actually did a Touch ID check every single time you started up, it would not let you use your device at all but it was more of a, you know, a dropped moment from Apple. They didn't actually, uh, you know, consider it and the issue slipped through their fingers. So, uh, you know, a lot of people would get their phones back repaired. You update it or restore it and boom, it's unusable. I've experienced it and I lost money because of it. So I think this is great that Apple's doing it. Now, unfortunately, you will not be able to update over the air. So you guys actually have to go and download the firmware file and update manually through iTunes if you do have a device that uh, is affected. And this is pretty much on on all Touch ID devices except the 5S, including the iPads and uh, the newer iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, uh, 6 and 6 Plus as well. So I uh, thought that was a very interesting update. Let's see if it fixes anything else. All right, does this fix the uh, issue with the home button not working? I actually showed you in my prank video. Let's see. Uh, let's try and exit an application now. Nope, that bug is still working. So if we actually go on the... Uh, Nope, no notification center, no control center. Prank bug is still working. Let's see if crashsafari.com is still working. And yes, it does. So it still crashes our device. There's no fix for that in this version. Lastly, the 1970 bug. Let's see if that still works. I'm probably gonna hate myself for this. Uh, my device is gonna get really, really hot after this, but as we know, the 1970 bug cannot be fixed by restore. You have to wait for the battery to completely die or unplug it from the device physically. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and do this real quick. I'm just curious to see if Apple fixed it or left it until iOS 9.3. So let's uh, time travel back to 1970. And there we are. So let's uh, skip forward to January 1st and uh, let's turn this guy off hopefully it's fixed but you know i don't really see how this issue would affect most people you have to purposefully go and change it back unless your friends are doing that to you you're unlikely to encounter it and uh hmm. oh wow so uh, i did turn on interesting now um hmm. i don't know if this is fixed for everybody but it seems like for me personally i'm not experiencing it on my iphone 6 on the second version of ios 9.2 so if that is officially fixed, then great. I'm gonna go ahead and rewind the time to get even further back a little bit on January 1st and try it again. And uh, what's this? Is my device powering on? Yes, it is. So uh, the 1970 bug may be fixed. I may be something of an exception here. Maybe my device isn't affected anymore, but don't do this still. You know, you don't wanna take the chance. Don't do this. But iOS 9.2.1 has been re-released. There's a new version. You know, nothing really has changed except the error 53 bug, which most of us will not be encountering unless we've replaced our displays in the past. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick little update. And I'll have an awesome video for you guys coming this weekend. Peace.